Welcome back to another NCCU Track and Field Recap. I am Philip Alexander and this weekend we have traveled to Greensboro, North Carolina for the Aggie Invitational. We only have two meets left into the MEAC Outdoor Conference Championship. We have steadily been getting qualifying standards. So honorable mentions from this weekend are Shania Brown in the 400 meter hurdles and triple jump, Kennedy McWilliams with the PR in the 100 meter hurdles and 400 meter hurdles, Deontay Williams in the 100 meter dash qualifying standard, Stay tuned to hear words from our head coach, Coach Walker. We are at the conclusion of the Aggie Invitational. Joining me right now, I have Coach Walker. How's it going, Coach? Doing well, Phil. I'm doing well. Uh, coach, we have had a lot of qual qualifiers so far outdoor season than we did for indoor season. What does that say for the coaching staff? Coaching staff is doing an awesome job. You know, um, you know, the, it makes it easy to coach when you have uh, the character. Um, and the fortitude that our student athletes possess, you know, uh, they make our jobs easier, you know, but um, the coaching staff has been doing a tremendous job. Uh, we've been recruiting heavily, um, but at the same time, we have to make sure that we are developing our student athletes, and they've done an, an awesome job um, in doing so, and we're seeing the results of that now. Now, you talked about character. This is one of the crucial meets before MEAX. We only had two meets left, pin relays. That's really only a relay meet, so this is the second to last meet that a lot of individuals could qualify. Talk about the heart that you saw from athletes today that really had to push to get that qualifying standard. Yeah. Um, you know, we've had a tremendous weekend. You know, um, the thing is coming off of yesterday's meet, uh, we had some jumpers who did some tremendous things. Um, um, and that kind of catapulted us into what we're seeing today. Um, they did a tremendous job. Um, you know, we have two more meets uh, prior to our conference championships. Um, one of those meets being the prestigious pin relays. Um, but we also have, quote, unquote, a, a home meet next week at Duke University. Uh, we've, also, we've always done well there. Um, we have a, a record that we set there last year, so looking to, to, to bring that record down. Um, uh, but, yes, it's, it's crunch time. It is crunch time. Um, you know, our student athletes have done a tremendous job. We, we, you know, today we had nine PRs. Nine, nine PRs. That is amazing, you know, especially given the, um, given the fact that we have a multitude of, of freshman student athletes. You know, um, and so, you know, they've been inspired by our upperclassmen. Our upperclassmen are doing a tremendous job in leading this team. Um, but uh, it bodes well for the success that we, that we hope, that we pray that we'll continue to see in the very near future. Um, it's, it's, it's our time to shine. It's our time to peak. And we're doing so right now at the right time. Uh, the thing is, you know, just making sure that we're keeping the team where, where they need to be and keeping the height of the team where they, where they need to be. Uh, but yet still understanding that we still have a lot more training to do. And we haven't done anything yet, uh, but we're looking good. Now, with only two more meets into MEAC and we have a a lot of people on the team that have already qualified. What's going to be the main focus going into these next two meets? The main focus is perfecting those imperfections. You know, um, you know, we don't, uh, you know, ask for our student athlete, athletes to be perfect, um, but we ask for them to prepare in a perfect manner. You know, um, and to make those adjustments, to make those adjustments in the throws, and make those adjustments in the jumps, um, and that's what the beginning of the season is is, is really about. Just making those adjustments, finding out where we are, who we are. Um, but at this point, you know, there's no margin for error. Um, so with this, within this particular meet, um, as well as the Duke um, Invitational, we're looking to make sure uh, that we leave no stones unturned uh, and so that we are going into our MEA championships with as perfect uh, of a race, jump, throw as we can get. So that's, the, that's the, you know, the, the team unity is there. Um, the energy on the team is, is infectious. It's, 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 it's outstanding at this point. So we're not worried about that piece of the puzzle. It's just, um, it's just making sure that we are crossing the T's and dotting our I's 
Um, and so that by the time we come to our MEAC championship, that we are ready to perform. MEAC is tough. A lot of tremendous student athletes within the MEAC track and field conference, a lot of tremendous coaches, and uh, you know, we're, we're proud to, you know, to, uh, to be a part of it. But uh, we want to make sure that we're not just a part of it, um, but that we are leading the MEAC uh, to our regionals and national championships. All right, well, thank you, Coach, for your time. Thank you for those words. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you very much, Phil. If you'd like to see more results from this weekend's meet, you can check out nccueaglefry.com. Thank you.